I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Today for lunch, you have a choice of beef soft flour tacos, barbecue glazed chicken with roll or fruit and yogurt power pack, and your vegetable is seasoned black beans. Hi, Grandview Hills Eagles. I have been so impressed that you have taken on my challenge and I have watched many, many, many of you memorize our Grandview Hills vision. What I've noticed, however, is that you have been so very careful to have copied every last word I said, even before and after the vision. So I've decided to give you a new challenge. Let's see if you can add all of these movements with our Grandview Hills vision. All right, ready? Here we go. Grandview Hills Eagles are a diverse community of problem solvers who strive hard to be competent and compassionate leaders. As global thinkers, global thinkers, we inspire and empower each other to succeed by embracing lifelong learning, grit, and academic excellence. All right, the challenge is on, Eagles. Let's see if you can do it. Happy birthday to anybody who has a birthday today. Hi, my name is Ellis, and I'm going to be doing Two Things Tuesday with you. So two things that I like to do when I get home is probably play on my monkey bars and hang out with my mom or watch a movie. And that is my favorite two things to do with my family or go outside and play. If you see me in the hallway, tell me what your favorite two things to do when you get home are. Bye Eagles. Welcome to today's Mental Health Minute. I feel really great today. Do you know why? I've been focusing on taking good care of myself this week. I've been getting plenty of sleep and taking brain breaks when I need to. Taking care of yourself or self-care is all about activities and practices to help us be kind to ourselves and make us feel better overall like drinking lots of water and spending time with friends and family who make us laugh. We all need to practice self-care. The earlier we start practicing self-care, the easier it will be to become a part of our daily routine.
Being kind to yourself is an important part of self-care. Sometimes we can get frustrated with ourselves when we make mistakes or don't get something the first time. Instead of thinking, I never get anything right, be kind to yourself and say, I do not have to be perfect. Is there anything you need to say differently to yourself to show kindness? Self-care is important for us to be successful inside and outside of the classroom. Practice showing kindness to yourself and do something that makes you happy this week. Like a type of carpet, like, mm. and then like a stick, some string on the box. I cut it out with scissors, so it's square, and I put it, I sticked it out with, I made holes and I tied it on, and I used a bunch of tape to do that. And if this. But I put that here. This is this Like um, like a bottle, and I cut cut the top and the bottom, and also um um a plastic cup and a lunchable, and also also an applesauce can. Okay, so mine are my water. I used these both bottles, but they're filled up with pennies. Now, let's play them. This one makes this noise. This one makes this noise.